This year, Berea Mid Park Middle School will have three parent drop-off locations. This is the first one, also our main entrance. Buses do not come in here. This is just for cars. Parents can choose whichever entrance they wish and can do different ones in the morning and afternoon at their pleasure. This one comes up to the main office. It's near the flagpole. And we would ask that parents stop anywhere along this curve so that we can keep maximum car movement. Pull up to the curb anywhere along here, stop, let your students out. Your students would then walk up and enter into this main office door on the right. In the afternoon, students will come out of that door and will also come out of the media center door right there to come to this loop to be picked up by their parents for those who choose to drive. And then you would just follow this loop around back to follow drive and then turn left or right, whichever is your need based on your home location. As you approach Prairie Mid Park Middle School on Paula Drive, there's a new parent drop-off but we don't want to confuse you with the bus drop-off. So the first thing you will pass here on the right is the bus drop-off. Please do not go in where it says buses only, but in turn come to this next driveway, which in the past has been used for our handicapped students' buses, but for this year will be a second parent drop-off. You'll pull right in here on the curb and right up here towards the sign that says food pantry or the sports center. And while there is a door here at the sports center, it will not be open in the morning, but parents can park anywhere along this curb in the afternoon to pick up their children or stop anywhere on this curb right here to drop them off. And students would then enter here into the auditorium entrance. Students then would come out of the auditorium entrance or the sports center entrance to the same location for parent pickup. And then this area in front of us, which does look like a driveway, will be blocked by cones. So parents would then turn left and go back through the parking lot to exit the same place where they entered. We are approaching Middlebrook Boulevard. It is late September in 2020. And as you can see, there's significant construction going on. When we get up to the fifth grade wing, you will see that it is blocked, but eventually this part of the road will be clear. And if you are going to the fifth grade wing for a student drop off or a student pickup in the afternoon, this would be the route that you will go. As you come up Middlebrook, you can see the school signs. And we will see the driveway in just a few moments. As you approach the school here, it would be on the right hand side. And as you can see on this date, uh, there is no road there. But once that's completed, you would go right up there and up to the fifth grade wing, which is on the right. But when it is open, you would arrive at the fifth grade wing this way and we would encourage only parents of fifth grade students to use this uh, entrance you can pull anywhere here in this striped no parking drop off area for the purpose of dropping off and then fifth grade students would enter right here in this door if you have a fifth grader and a sixth seventh or eighth grader they can also be dropped off here and after they get out, then they would walk across this sidewalk in the direction of the main building. So that way you can do it in one stop. And then you'll approach the stop sign right here, make a left turn, heading back towards Middlebrook Boulevard, and you would be on your way based on the construction traffic. Bus riders will be dropped off here in the back of the building. Fifth and sixth grade students would enter into door H. Then seventh and eighth grade students would enter into any of these other three doors that you see here on their way to class. 
Around the corner from door G is the door that would go to the cafeteria. And in our pre-COVID days, students would go to the cafeteria and wait in the cafeteria for the dismissal bell to ring to go to first period. Procedures are a little bit different these days and will be described by Mr. Desenza in his orientation videos.